Thank you, um, Kian Corla. Uh, Taoiseach, it's, um, it's a week now since the departure um, of the former Garda Commissioner, uh, Martin Canlan, um, following a visit by the Secretary General of the Department of Justice, uh, conveying your view that uh, the issue in relation to phone recordings was very, very serious. Um, and the following morning, as we know, after that visit, um, he, he resigned, retired, or in my view was forced out of office. But the bottom line, Tishik, is that last Wednesday in the Doyle, the um, Minister for Justice said, I was not briefed on this matter until approximately 6 p.m. on Monday the 24th of the 3rd in the Department of Justice. And I wasn't furnished with the letter until the following day at 12.40 p.m. He confirms that after the briefing in the Department of Justice on the Monday, with officials on this matter, whatever this matter is, is it the letter, is it the whole issue? Uh, he then met with you and with the Attorney General to discuss the matters further. And I believe you were joined by the Secretary General of the Department of Justice. You might confirm if the Secretary of the Department of Justice joined you at that meeting on the Monday evening. Now, reading Minister Shatter's statements, and I stand to correction on this, Taoiseach, nowhere does he say that he wasn't aware of the content of the letter. And I would like that clarified. Was the minister made aware at any stage, either before he went to Mexico or since, up to 12.40 p.m. on the Tuesday, was he made aware of the content of the letter from the Garda Commissioner? And I would ask you specifically on the Monday evening, it seems inconceivable that in, meeting, in a meeting with departmental officials about this matter, where he was briefed about this matter, that surely the Secretary General would not have raised with him, or an official would have not raised with him, the fact that the Commissioner had sent a letter two weeks earlier. Uh, and would he have been aware and would he have been alerted on that evening, on the Monday evening, to the content of the letter? And when he joined you then, Taoiseach, were you made aware of the fact that not only had the Commissioner um, written a letter, but were you made aware of the content of the letter? Because surely it would have been very relevant to the discussions that you were having. Thank you. Um, and I would like if you could, could confirm those basic questions in terms of did the Secretary General join you, the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice on the Monday evening? Was the Minister of Justice made aware from his departmental briefing on the Monday about the content of the letter uh, from the Garda Commissioner? And at the subsequent meeting with you and the others, were you made aware of it? Thank you. Please, um, well, I'm assured by the Minister for Justice that he was not so briefed. I can confirm to you that uh, on the Monday evening, I was joined by the Attorney General, the General Secretary of the Department of the Taoiseach, the General Secretary of the Department of Justice, and the Minister for Justice. And there was no um, discussion uh, about the letter or about its, uh, about its contents uh, at that meeting. I felt that these matters, having been informed by the Attorney General the evening before, were of such um, a concern and gravity to me uh, that I should reflect carefully on these matters that I should bring it to the attention of uh, the government, bring it to the attention of the, uh, of the Dáil, bring it to the attention of the leaders of the opposition. And, uh, and um, um, from that point of view, uh, the government made its decision to um, set up a commission of inquiry, of investigation, uh, which government followed through on today in regard to a number of further decisions, Deputy. Teacher, I, I just find the, your response somewhat incredible and very difficult to, um, to comprehend the belief. Can I just repeat, Teacher, what the, the Minister said? He said, quote, I was not briefed on this matter until approximately 6 p.m. on Monday, the 24th of the 3rd, 2014, in the Department of Justice. Now, you said in your reply to me that he assured you that he was not briefed about the letter at that meeting. Is that what you're saying? It's just inconceivable that he would have been briefed by departmental officials at 6 p.m. on the Monday about the phone recording system and would not have been told that, Minister, a letter came in two weeks ago from the Garda Commissioner detailing in a reasonably comprehensive manner the background um, to this entire issue. Because Taoiseach, what's further, what's even more incredible then, 
is that the Secretary General, who got the letter from the Commissioner under Section 41 of the 2005 Act, which is a specific vehicle to facilitate correspondence of this kind and grab it. It doesn't happen every day. It's not the kind of letter the Minister for Justice gets every week, or the Sec Gen gets every week to give to the Minister for Justice. Thank you. That the very man who gets the letter is sent out by you to the Commissioner to have a discussion about the Cabinet Ministers and the Taoiseach are unhappy, even though the Cabinet didn't know anything about this apparently, until the, and I accept Minister Abbott's point that they didn't know about this. But anyway, the message was conveyed to the Commissioner. By the way, the Cabinet is very unhappy about this. You better reflect on it. Yeah, now, the two people who are having the conversation out in the House both know about the correspondence. It, is, it's, it's, it, it defies belief, Taoiseach. Thank you. That at that Monday evening, he would not have been briefed by departmental officials about the content of the letter. I know he, in, in his speech he talks about furnished and received, but I'm talking about the content of it. You could not but be aware of the content of it in discussing the issue about the phone recordings, because that's the reason. That is the reason why he was sent out to tell the Commissioner, we want you to reflect on your position. The Cabinet has, is very anxious about Thank you, this. Deputy. Um, so, Tisha, are you saying to me that he was not briefed on the content of the letter at 6 p.m. on Monday by his own departmental officials? Uh, section 41 of the Garda Shirkhan Act of 2005 uh, says the Garda Commissioner shall keep the Minister and the Secretary General of the Department of Justice, Equality and Law Reform fully informed of the following, and there are a list of measures there. The letter was sent to the um, Secretary General of the Department of Justice, um, and the letter did contain the reference to the fact that the that the Minister should be informed. I think the section of the Act, Deputy, um, is very clear. Where were you sending a letter, you'd send a letter to the Minister and to the Secretary General. The Act says the Garda Commissioner shall keep the Minister and the Secretary General of the Department fully informed. Now, there, there's a, there is a, I've seen the, the, um, the uh, chronological um, uh, sequence here in respect of the 10th of, to the 24th of March, uh, which is um, published to the um, Minister for Justice, outlining all of the events in the areas where they, where they attended and, and, and published that. Um, this is, uh, uh, it's not a case, um, as you say, Deputy. Uh, I, when I was um, briefed by the Attorney General on the gravity of what is involved here, the order for discovery in the, um, in the um, Bailey case was due to conclude, I think, on the Tuesday of the Cabinet meeting. That order for discovery included the transcripts of a number of tapes in that case, which contained very serious matter pertaining to the case arising from the content of the recordings. The Garda affidavit has now been signed and the affidavit matter has been sent on to the other legal team. Um, so I took the view, what, what, what do you do about this? What is the right thing to do? And in my view, the right thing to do was to check the validity uh, and the veracity of the seriousness of this, uh, which was done on Monday uh, with a, a much clearer view much clearer view being available uh, on, on, on that Monday, on that Monday evening, and uh, I was very clear because I wanted to inform the cabinet, the Dáil, the members of the opposition, that my concern uh, should be communicated uh, to the Garda Commissioner, and I advised the Secretary General of the Department of Justice uh, to communicate that to the Garda Commissioner, um, and and. I, advi I advised him to, uh, to uh, communicate my concerns to the Garda Commissioner. I thought that was uh, uh, a, fundamental, a fundamental thing to do, given the gravity of what was involved here. So the, so the, but I, I might say to you, 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 I've got the, I've got the, uh, 
The, the letter is now in the public domain from the Garda Commission, from the former Garda Commissioner, to the Secretary General. That can be published uh, so that everybody can, uh, can 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 read that letter. Um, the, let me confirm to you. Uh, let me confirm to you that there was no uh, no communication, no discussion at the, at my meeting about the uh, about the um, uh, the issue that you raise here. There was the question of the. Uh, importance of the uh, transcription of the tapes in the uh, in the Bailey case, which clearly, from the chronology that's set out here, uh, took up most of the focus of the Department of Justice, as far as I can figure out. But just for your information, the government today appointed a commission of investigation. Sorry, we, and sorry, Mr. Justice, we're way over time. Let, 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 sorry, let, there's let, a time let me, limit let me on this. Deputy Martin. We're three and a half minutes over time. Mr. Justice Fennelly is to chair that commission, and that will deal with all matters. Shh, and I'm going to tell you something please. that you don't know, or maybe you don't know it. Um, Mr. Justice Fennelly will chair that investigation commission, which will look at all matters relevant to tape recording, conversations being recorded, conversations being retained, to the extent that we know to this point but which seem to be growing in number. But during the course of the Cabinet meeting today, for instance, the, the Minister for Justice received a communication uh, from, the prison, uh, from the prison service indicating that uh, there were, uh, on the 26th of March, the prison service became aware that uh, an anomaly whereby a number of prisoners, 84, of the 28th of March of this year, who had more than one solicitor in the system, uh, those, uh, those conversations with their solicitors were inadvertently recorded as they were outside the restriction parameters. And the prison service became aware of, the, of that and took steps to rectify it immediately. Now I've asked the Minister for Justice uh, for a report from the prison service on how this happened. So the, the answer to your question is, the answer to your question is, the Minister for Justice has assured me I, the Minister for Justice has assured me uh, that there was no briefing given to him on Monday evening about the contents of this. Thank you.